The Institute for Translational Research in Biomedicine at Chang'e Memorial Hospital in Taiwan was established in 2009 to offer a new concept on what translational medicine is all about and how should it be implemented. The philosophy of this institute is very simple, and that is MDs and PhDs should work together to foster health-related research problems. But the core value of our institute is that medical research is for the betterment of humankind. And for that reason, patient-related issues are always at the center of all our research activities. The Institute was commissioned in the year 2007 by the late Mr. Yongqing Wang, founder of the multinational Formosa Plastic Group. It is primarily funded by the Chang'eng Medical Foundation, which is a private foundation set up by Mr. Wang to finance its six hospitals that were situated around Taiwan. Because of very stable and liberal funding from the Chang'eng Medical Foundation, we are in a very good position to create a congenial research environment in which medical doctors and research scientists can interact freely to generate meaningful research questions and their answers. Because of this very unique research environment, we are able to entice collective works by the MDs and PhDs to address unmet patient-oriented problems. I was trained as a physiologist, and my research interest is in neuroregulation of blood pressure. When I learned from Dr. Tan, who is a pediatrician in a hospital, that this regulated renal angiotensin system and the nitric oxide signaling contribute to pathophysiology and pathogenesis of program hypertension and kidney disease in offspring to maternal high fructose diet. In Taiwan, there are a lot of people like uh, sugar beverages, including the pregnant mother and the uh, young kids. So one day I talked to Julie. I said, in my outpatient clinic, uh, a lot of kids, they don't drink water. They drink uh, sugar beverage every day. And Julie said, we should be worried about the high fructose corn syrup in their drinks. So that's how we start between an MD and a PhD. I'm now working with Dr. Tan and clinicians in the Department of Pediatrics to set up a pediatric metabolic syndrome cohort as our first step to uh, really translate our laboratory data to bedside. We envisage that the outcome of this collaborative project will have a very profound impact on social and economic burden on metabolic syndrome related disorders over the next decades. We have been searching for solutions for unmet medical needs. For example, coronary artery disease is the leading cause of death in the world. And Diffuse coronary artery disease, we call end-stage coronary artery disease, cannot be treated by conventional therapies, such as coronary artery bypass surgery or percutaneous coronary intervention. Those patients respond poorly to medications also. We use autolux circulatory hematopoietic stem cells for these patients. That means using stem cells from patients themselves and we find it's effective and safe. Then we use the same strategy, using the patient's stem cell to treat some other hopeless diseases, such as strokes of brain and chronic kidney disease. We also find it's safe in the initial stage of our clinical studies. We performed the phase two clinical trial and just finished it, we now are on going trial of phase three, a clinical trial with full circulatory CD34 cell, proximal cell treatment for those diffuses a patient. Now we are moving forward toward allogenic stem cell therapies, using stem cells from other people and applying to the patients. Treat patients with adult acute respiratory syndrome those clinical trials are the first and only in Taiwan and also very rare in the world. 
One of the key missions of the Institute is to groom the next generation of investigators who are well versed in transnational medicine. We also support their career development by encouraging them to attend national and international conferences and workshops, by interacting and collaborating with the local and domestic colleagues, and to showcase their accomplishments in two conferences that we held each year by the Institute. In that addition, we're very proud that the current president of the International Union of Physiological Sciences, Professor Julie Chen, is a senior member of our institute. This institute not only provides a very unique setup for their staff to excel as an international scientist, it also provides me with lots of chances to communicate with people, to interact with clinicians. And those skills are very important for my international connections. The Institute for Translational Research at Chang'an Memorial Hospital in Taiwan will celebrate its 10th anniversary in February 2019. We are currently working on our strategic plans for our next 10 years. With the maturation of our MDs and PhDs, with the success of our clinical trials, and with the continuous support by the Chang'an Medical Foundation, we envisage that the next 10 years will see us attending another level of accomplishment in all towards the benefit of patient care.